I can to hear from me or to hear from God through me. I was sharing with him the, that that I've been able to see about America and know about America. And let me talk to you this morning as I go send this message to you to reflect just a little bit and what America is to a third world country. Well, the Bible, the Bible is you go look through the Bible and you know the word of God. He said, come and buy without money, milk and honey. And I think that America is that place in the Bible. We are third world country. Like us, have the hope to go and have the faith to believe that as we make it to America, our life will change. Yeah. Our family life yeah. will change. It will just give us spin, a 90% spin, and we're gonna be in a better position. Now, why do I believe that? Because when I go through the Bible, and when I see the Word of God, and when I see my people walk through the desert, trying to make it to America, a lot of people have lost their life trying to make it to America by the wrong way. A lot of my people have drowned in the ocean trying to make it to America with a hope. In a mask box, in a cartoon box, in an old refrigerator. My people have tried to reach to America in a speedboat that will take only 10 persons and 60 persons get on it. They have a, one hope, is that make it to America. My situation will change. You've been so blessed, America. So blessed to bless others. And thank you for being one of my country. The blessing will come from you. Men of God <laughs> that wanted to leave you an inheritance. And they say, as we put it in a tower, a tornado will twist it round. As we put it in the wall, a hurricane will beat it out. But if we stamp it on the money, they're gonna read it daily. So they put on it, and God we trust. Man, how much of that do you read on a daily basis? How much of that message do you miss? That is not your studies. And please don't get me wrong, it's good to study. That is not just strength. Please don't get me wrong, it's good to have strength. But God has done a great work in America. And your people have leave you an inheritance. They leave you a marker. They leave you a marker. That's why you have a given heart. And you give to what hurts. And that pleases God. So please, America, please do not stop doing what you do. Do what you do, what God has called you to do.